In this video, I'll show you what to do when your PC is on but there is no signal being outputted. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing, and once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like, and let's get right into this guide. If your PC is turned on but you're getting no signal on your monitor, then let's get into some fixes. So firstly, I'm going to start with more sort of basic tips, and then we're going to go and get to in more advanced stuff. So firstly, we need to go and check the back of your computer. And what you need to check on the back of your computer is that everything is firmly plugged in and nothing is loose. And also, if you've recently moved your computer, make sure the cables are in the right places. For example, if, you're, if you've got a graphics card right here and you've got um, cables plugged into your, uh, your motherboard, then that's going to be causing a problem. If you've got a graphics card, make sure you're using it. And also just make sure they're pushed in correctly as well, like mine are. Now come up to your monitor and make sure all the cables are firmly plugged in as well. And once you've done that, the next thing I recommend doing is trying different inputs on your monitor and different outputs on your computer. You may have multiple at the same ports. And what's sometimes worth trying as well is using different types of ports as well. For example, at the moment, if you've currently connected your monitor and your PC using, um, for example, a DisplayPort cable, then try using an HDMI and see if that makes any difference as well. And also just try different of the same cables if possible. And if you've got a second monitor as well, see if that works as that's worth checking as well. So after you've checked all the connections, all the cables, the PC and the monitor, then let's get into something a bit more advanced. A common reason why this actually happens is often because of faulty RAM or your RAM being a bit dirty or something like that. So I'm gonna show you how you can go and actually check this out. So go and power off your computer just like so. And once you've powered it off, then what you'll need to do is go and unplug it at the wall as well, just to be extra safe. Completely unplug your PC. And then what you can do is go and take the side off as well because we need to go and get inside of your computer. So I'm gonna go and take it off just like so. Then what we need to do is go and locate the RAM. So you're gonna probably have one or two RAM sticks depending on how many you have installed and the RAM are these two sticks here. So what we need to do is take these off and clean them. Often uh, your PC has a black screen because a bit of dust builds up on the RAM and Windows can't go and launch without any RAM. So it's gonna be quite hard for me to um, un uninstall them uh, with one hand, but I'll show you the basics. What you need to do is essentially at the end of each RAM stick on each end here and then up here, are sort of like a clicker and all you need to do is go and click it down like this so i could just push it back like so i'll then do the top as well and you've got to push it down and it'll click and then what you can do is just go and take the ram out like so to be quite careful with it and then just like that i've now taken it out and then what you need to do is go and get something really soft and just brush any dust off off the connector like this and do that for both of them and then once you've done that you need to go and plug it back in like so and then make sure you go and click it back in very firmly as well and then make sure you click it firmly back in as well and then do the same thing for the other stick which i'm now going to do, do off camera after you've cleaned all of your sticks of ram then put your computer back together and see if it will then power on and if windows is going to go and boot if it still doesn't work then it may be another issue with a different component so this could be for example the graphics card if you're using that or your motherboard or even the power supply as well so it's probably worth going and getting proper advice from somebody else but i do hope one of these methods did work for you if they did please consider leaving a like and subscribing peace